Oxtaurus, Dragonlord, 735, Hect Yeah, Hunky Dorius, uh, Little Icon. What's up, guys? Welcome to the stream. My garbage rating is on screen right now for you guys all to laugh at. 6,027. That's so bad. That is so bad. It's a little better. 5,000. <laughs> Eventually, I'll start carrying again. I'm gonna start carrying again once the series changes and we're back in series nine. So 11 more days till I like Pokemon again. I still like it, right? It's fun, but it's it's not as fun as it used to be when I didn't have to like worry about Kyogre every game or Zacian every game. Can I do a showdown tournament? I would likely do it on cartridge, but I could do it on showdown if there was a popular vote. All right, let's get into it. This is an interesting team. Um, every time I see Tapu Koko on Kyogre, I get concerned because I remember how many teams used Tapu Koko with a can of beans and qualified in Japan for Players Cup 4. I'm going to assume this is just dual screens, setup stuff. Maybe it's... I mean, the weakness policy would definitely be on the, um, on the Galarian Moltres, so I almost want to say Scarf Kyogre. Since there's no Tailwind, it's probably not Choice Scarf. Um, Grim Snarl is gonna be my best friend, and hey, thank you for the, thank you for the host, Hipster Sephiroth. I'm gonna leave off Grim Snarl here. I feel pretty confident going Grim Snarl Porygon, bringing the Charizard or bringing the Groudon in the back, and there isn't really gonna be a better game to bring Surfetch to for the rest of this video, so I'm just gonna do that anyways. Yo, the an untitled folder in the chat ready to moderate my chat because I only have like one mod online every time I stream. <laughs> Maybe if I stream more often, my mods would be online. As we see a pretty interesting lead. Nothing all too threatening. I'm definitely going to have to... I feel very confident going for the trick room, to be honest. Then again, a, a taunt could be coming my way. I'm going to go ahead and set up a Reflect to hopefully take whatever the Excadrill wants to go for on my Grim Snarl and Trick Room up, and then we're going to get in the, uh, we're going to get in the Surfetched, which is not something that often happens on this video, or uh, with this team. You, you rarely get to bring the Surfetched. Yeah, uh, Moltres could Dynamite, oh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, who's it, is it the Moltres? Is it, is it the, or is it the Excadrill? If it's the Excadrill, I'm very scared. But if it's the Moltres, that's doable. All right, it's the Moltres, that's doable. That's doable. Um, I should be able to tank a Max Steel Spike, or not a Max Steel Spike, a regular Iron Head behind Reflect, and then I can probably get my Light Screen off next turn. High horsepower, okay. They do not want this Porygon 2 doing anything. They definitely just doubled. You guys want to see a pro gamer move? You want to see a pro gamer move? My mother is calling me, but I'm live streaming. Let me think here. Um, I could just go for the light screen and get off an, an eerie impulse. And then next turn, I can just go ahead and get in the Surfetched pretty freely, to be honest. Considering this was their Dynamax, I can just, I am cutting this Moltres' offensive potential. Like it, it's it's in the ground, it's no longer existent. You know, Pokemon stats go plus six and minus six. But as far as this Moltres is concerned, it's not minus six, it's like minus six feet in the ground. But <laughs> they're running ancient power. That's kind of crazy. That's kind of crazy. Uh, I guess that's just for thunderous. Actually, I kind of like that adjustment. Ancient power Galarian Moltres is like running. It's it's like Charizard, right? They're they're making the same adjustment Charizard players made a long time ago. All right. Now that Moltres doesn't exist, I can get in my Surfetched pretty freely and go ahead and recover. There's no way they airstream here. There's just no way.
ain't no way they're gonna airstream. I'm gonna start knuckling. I could even start airstreaming, which sounds counterintuitive because there's a trick room up, but if I get two airstreams off before the Kyogre comes in and the trick room runs out, I then outspeed it. Big thing. But what if Brick Break Drill? I don't wanna face Brick Break Drill. <laughs> I really don't feel like facing Brick Break today. Remember when we faced that Brick Break um, Thunderous? That was a cool adaptation. I respect Brick Break Thunderous. I do not respect Brick Break Excadrill. Brick Break and Sin? That is somewhat respectable. It's very hard not to run, like, Fake Out, Blair Blitz, Parting Shot, and Taunt on every, in on every Incineroar, though. No. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> I was like, no, don't do that to my, don't do that to my surf fetched. I almost lost, like, my, I, I lost my childlike innocence right there. Um, can you do, like, no damage? Thank you. My childlike innocence was almost torn away from me in the blink of an eye. I'm gonna go ahead and start max knuckling. As their Dynamax now ends. Brick Break Urshifu, even less respectable. Check this out. Check this out. Nice Moltres, loser. I just want to point out that this, uh, this Porygon's not going anywhere. Brick Break Charmander in VGC? Bet. You know, Blast Burn Charmander with a Life Orb in the sun? That still hits really hard. <laughs> As I Eerie Impulse, further cementing the fact that this Moltres will not be doing anything this game. And I get my Max Knuckle off, hopefully critting. That looked like kind of a crit, probably not though. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's Surfetch time, baby. Oh no. I'm glad I went for that second Eerie Impulse. Hurricane. Dealing comically low damage. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> Don't do this to me. Don't you dare. Don't you dare do this to me right now, Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2021 Series 8 Ladder. You're not doing this to me right now. Okay, I can max knuckle this Excadrill and probably pick up a KO. And the Moltres is most likely within tri-attack range, but oh, don't do this to me, Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2021 Series 8 Ladder. As the Moltres protects, that's fine, that's gangsta. Can I KO this Excadrill, please? Likely the last turn of Trick Room, right? No! <laughs> this is like the one time Surfetch is going to get to do anything and it just got destroyed by a chance to hit itself. This is the one game Surfetch could have accomplished anything and it's just gone. It, it has been torn away from me. Mr. Dimensions returned to normal. Groudon, get in here. I'm going to have to Trick Room and Swords Dance. I'm so disappointed. My day is completely ruined. All right. I'm gonna Swords Dance and I'm going to Trick Room. And if my Porygon gets flinched, I'm going to scream. Thank you for the follow. Um in your I'm your real daddy don't you dare flinch don't you dare flinch right now that's doing no damage that's doing no damage but if anyone flinches okay Groudon you're good there's just one person left on this list one person left on this list if he flinches I'm okay <laughs> you know what? That's a second swords dance. We'll, we'll take it as an opportunity. That's a second swords dance if I've ever seen one. That's a second swords dance. 
You have no idea how badly I need this trick room to win. They're really focusing on that Groudon. And they clicked Hurricane. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. There was absolutely zero reason to click Hurricane. Alright, we're not messing with the Excadrill. I'm just going to Fire Punch it. And uh, also try attack into it just in case it's Focus Ash. And then next turn, I should be able to P-Blades and get rid of the Moltres, since Moltres isn't really a threat. There's the Hurricane. Once again, no reason to be clicking Hurricane right now. My Reflect wears off. Oh no. <laughs> There's the Tapu Koko, aka Precipice Blades food. You know what would be really disappointing? If it was a really, really slow Kyogre, and I lose because of that. That'd be really disappointing. They're Electric Seed. That's not going to take this. They're not taking this. I guarantee you. Watch them be Grass Knot, and I just got nae on. If they're Grass Knot, and I miss my Precipice Blades, I'm going to be so upset. Room service Kyogre, it's possible. It's possible, that's what's scary. It could happen. That's what I fear most. Not that it will happen, but the fact that it could happen. <laughs> and I'm gonna have to live with the fact that it did happen. If that makes, that makes no sense, and that's just because you're speaking to a man on the edge. I'm not only on the edge of my seat, but on, like, if there was a straw, this would be the last straw in the pile of last draws. That's how I feel right now. It's the last draw in the pile of the last draws. Now watch me pee blades and try attack the Kyogre because any damage is good damage. Because <laughs> if I miss this pee blades, an eerie impulse would not save me anyways. I only need to hit one of you and it's gotta be the Kyogre. Okay. Luckily, the, the last straw still remains. <laughs> we did it, Sun Players. We landed a Precipice Blades. <laughs> we did it. But for a moment there, I was really scared because, you know, I got flinched on my Porygon 2 and then I had to take a second high horsepower and the game would have been over a lot sooner. But honestly, I'm somewhat grateful because I got to click Swords Dance a second time and that makes me feel good. But yeah. <laughs> so we're facing a Kumfei Moltres team with Zacian. So uh, versus these teams, I actually feel pretty comfortable leading off Venue. Yeah, I can go like... Do I do this? I could just go Grim Snarl Charizard to be honest. Grout on Venusaur. We'll do that. Because I can just go for a Reflect and a Max Flare on the uh, Thunderous and just be done with it, you know? I have to start leaning into Charizard a little bit heavier. I have not been doing that enough. What are your thoughts on a Series 9 team? Series 9 is going to be basically just Series 7 again, but with a little bit more retrospect. I'm going to say that, you know, Sun's going to be a little bit more common. Uh, but not to the extent where, like, you have to seriously adjust. Hmm. So Max Lightning would do a ton here. I'm going to go ahead and assume they're going to Max Lightning. I'm going to try to Reflect. And I'm just going to go hard into Groudon here. Since they should be able to Fake Out into my Grim Snarl, preventing a screen and then Max Lightning for a KO, that should be free in their mind. Amazing Billy, how you doing? Oh, I forgot to go full screen. Oops. You guys gotta remind me to do that. I'm a bad streamer. I'll, like, always forget that. They call me Big Sip. Because I take big sips. 
Who do you guys think I should build around first for series uh series nine? I actually, you know what? Um, Ash in the chat. Remember uh, when we were in that Discord call and I made a Dunsparce team on the fly and it ended up being really, really good? I think that's the first one I'm going to use because I can actually use it now. Because I built it right before Series 8. Alright, hopefully we see a Max Lightning here. That'd be ideal. But if they just annihilate the Scrimsnarl, I'm going to be really disappointed in myself. There's the fake out. Ah, they airstreamed. Okay. Uh, not the end of the world. Ooh, that might be the end of the world. <laughs> How fast is my Venusaur compared to this guy? Give me a moment. Going to Venusaur here, for sure. Oh no, my Venusaur's slower. No, Venusaur, you're slower. Don't do this, man. Uh, I could Dynamax, maybe. I'm not gonna eat the hit, though. That's the issue. I'm slower if it's at plus one. Like, yeah, I could Dynamax to eat the hit, but that's not what I want to do right now. I definitely don't want to Dynamax you. I'm going to try to outspeed it, but it's not going to work. It's not going to work. And I'm not going to live this. There's no way. Oh, we lived. We lived. Please. Please don't be safety goggles, even though that's kind of like clear that that's what you would go for in this situation. Could be AV. AV, oh no, it is Life Orb. Okay, cool. Never mind, we're good. <laughs> we're good. We're good. Uh, can you please take my Venusaur from me? That'd be ideal. I forgot that there was a... I forgot that there was very clearly a, uh, a Life Orb displayed on screen there. Alright. Um, what are their switch-ins to this? They have no switch-ins except for maybe the Moltres. I'm going to go ahead and Sleep Powder here. I'm going to get into the Charizard. They could be Safety Goggles and Cinderer, but I haven't seen too much of that lately. I'm going to try to start Max Airstreaming. I don't have screens up, but I have, so I have to be really careful with this Thunderous, but I kind of have to roll the dice on whether or not, uh, whether or not it wakes up. No Goggles. Okay, no Goggles. No goggles. Charizard takes some solar power. It is now in my best interest to... I'll just Weather Ball you. It does more. Weather Ball the Thunderous, go for a max Airstream. And if I can survive this turn... I think I'm in a winning position, because I have a plus one speed. Just don't wake up, bro. Just don't wake up. Because technically it's only been asleep for one turn, right? I need two turns. Just need two turns to win here. Okay, we did it. Okay, I think we just win now. I feel like we just win now. Especially if the uh, the Incineroar stays asleep. Because we got the speed boost we needed on my uh, Charizard. We're going to KO the Thunders here. And then next turn, I can go for arguably the strongest move in the game. Arguably the strongest move in the game.
You think I care? I have solar power boost. Whatever was gonna go down is going down anyways. Yeah, Blast Burn is just an adaptation to have an absurdly strong move. That's just like, oh, you thought you could live the, the heat wave? No, I clicked Blast Burn. You know, for my max move. You know, for kids. So I feel like it's pretty safe to assume that, yeah, Incinera is just going to come right back out. I'm going to go ahead and get my flames up. They should just fake out the Venusaur here and maybe go for a... Uh, maybe go for a Wicked Blow into it, assuming I'm going to protect. So I'm going to go into my Groudon, expecting it to be useless for the rest of the game. I could even actually just Max Airstream the Urshifu. And then just sweep... I'm going to Max Airstream. And then I'm just going to sweep with uh, plus two speed Groudon. Just something fun for the kids, you know. Click that Blast Burn. Get that satisfying damage. Give me a speed boost on my Groudon. If you're not Focus Sash, you're gone. They were Focus Sash. Now the question is, do I survive this hit? Most likely. It's a Charizard with, plus, er, with double HP. And next turn, I get to go for my Fire move. Pretty much for free. Wicked Blow... Bah! Bounces right off. what I tell you guys? Bounces right off. I don't really mind the harsh sunlight being gone because I can just start clicking buttons. Presbus Blades, Max Airstream. I actually don't need my fire move, to be honest. But I will get to click Blast Burn, which is really fun. As they sucker punch me, and I live. And I'm not Life Orb, so this should be fine. As long as I connect on the Incineroar in particular, this should be fine. We now have plus two speed on this Groudon, which is enough for it to outspeed the Zacian. And we connect. All right, awesome. That's just a win. There's no way we lose now. Unless, of course, there isn't a Zacian in the back and I'm going to get Nanaid. Question for the chat. Is there a Zacian in the back? Please tell me there's not a Zacian. Okay, we're good. <laughs> There's the Intrepid Sword. Hey, we get to see Blast Burn, though. I have not... Well, I mean, I saw it in today's video, right? But we get to click Blast Burn, and that's what matters. That's what matters. We get to click the Blast Burn. Let me go for a P-Blades. Actually, I'm paranoid that I'm going to miss. I'm just going to Fire Punch. Because Blast Burn... Here's the thing. If you remember my WBE run, there was a week where I missed two Frenzy Plants in a row to lose. So now whenever I click these ultra-powerful moves, I'm just scared it's going to happen again. So I'm just not going to risk... I'm going to risk as little misses as I can. Nice. We win there. Oh yeah, I forgot that we can just check. Because it switches from regular to crowned. I have never used that tech, even though I've known about it. Just saying. Also, hold up. I just remembered something. Guys, I, I can... I, keep forgetting to plug this, but it's something that I should definitely be plugging. In like the descriptions of all my videos, I have a, a Amazon affiliate code, and I specifically put stuff that I know my subscribers would need, like AC adapters for switches, Joy-Con, that sort of thing. If you order your Switch stuff through my affiliate code, I get a cut and it supports the channel. So remember to do that. Um, I have to like make a shortcut for anyone who wants to use it, but yeah, I have to remember to do that. Anyways, plug the Patreon. Dude, I feel bad. I have not uploaded a Patreon video in a while, and I keep forgetting to update that, uh, mainly because school's been getting crazy, and it's only a couple more weeks, so hopefully I can get something out, but I feel bad. I have to put something up soon. All right, we're facing rain. Probably Beans Tapu Koko. Beans Tapu Koko is the best Tapu Koko. Uh, Thog might care here. Thog may or may not care. I'm going to go ahead and lead off Grimmsnarl, P2. Just seems safe. Uh, we'll bring Groudon and Surfetched. Is it possible to have a full monkey team? I think without the the elemental chimps, there is, there is not. Let me see if there is such a thing as a full monkey team in this format. 
Okay, so we would have Rillaboom. We would have, um, what else is a monkey in this game? More Rillaboom. Oh, um, what's his name? Passimian? Rillaboom, Passimian, looking for mon more monkeys. I'll look for more monkeys after this. We'll, we'll retrieve the monkeys in a moment. Must achieve ape mode. Have you guys ever seen a Milk Ape? Milk Ape is unironically one of my favorite Twitter accounts of all time. I feel pretty safe trick rooming. Trick room feels very free here. So let me uh, go ahead and go for a reflect and a trick room. Dermanitan Ice, I'll add that to the list. What else is monkey? Urshifu is a bear. Thought it was a monkey for a moment. I don't know, guys. I'm not seeing enough monkey. Golisopod's an honorary monkey. We have to respect them. Helping hand. Uh, I should still be able to tank whatever. And honestly, it's not the end of the world if I just get a Reflect off and I lose my Grimmsnarl. Oh, Oranguru, yes. Add him to the list. So far, this team doesn't look very synergistic, to be honest, as they max Knuckle my Porygon. Unfortunately, I can't Spirit Break that Braviary. Hmm... What can I do here? I could get in Groudon for my Grim Snarl. I think I'll do that right now. And I will. I'll just try attack. I don't really mind. I I'm going to go for the Indeedee because I would rather just. Make sure the Braviary isn't being protected by Follow Me or anything. There's the Helping Hand, hopefully into P2 if anything. There's a Steel Spike. Oh no, that's not good. I did a decent amount. Uh, how hard are we going to have to lean into Surfetch to somehow win? Hmm. How many turns of Trick Room are left? Probably going to lose my Groudon if I don't play this smart. Or I could play the stupid and get rid of the Indeedee. And then just rely on the Surfetched. You know, I believe in the Surfetched. I truly do. I believe in my Surfetched. It's in the heart of the cards. Even though the cards are Pokemon and they're digital and they don't care about you. They're just a bunch of ones and zeros. So here's my game plan. And it's a stupid game plan, mind you. But it's the game plan I'm going with. I'm going to go ahead and go for a Max Quake. Probably lose my Groudon. But probably knock out the Indeedee. And then on the next turn... Hold on. This is progress. Okay, no, this is fine. This is fine, because next turn I'm going to get in my Surfetched. And then it's time to start clicking close combat on anything that breathes, pretty much. I don't mind as long as I got damage off on that Kyogre. Kyogre is really the main issue here. You might say that giant Braviary in front of you is the main issue. That plus two Braviary that's Dynamaxed and at nearly full health is the main issue. But it's not. It's It really isn't, because all I have to do is crit a close combat. And that's a 50% chance, which means it happens all the time, right? Okay, let's see how much this, this is going to do. We do just pick up a KO. Now, I will say, the fact that the Kyogre went down is slightly concerning, because that means that the... Um, that means that the Ndidi can just come back in and follow me. Just want to point that out.
Okay, that's fine. That's actually fine. That's cool. That's fine. That's that's great. That's that's great. That's awesome. The crit is 100% chance if you're the opponent. Exactly. So I just have to get in my opponent's mind and be the opponent. Thank you. You understand how this game works. Also, I can. they haven't max airstreamed yet, so I can definitely just paralyze them. <laughs> Why would I have skill at this game when I can just click Thunder Wave? There's two turns up to Trick Room. I'm going to go ahead and just try attack and max Quake again. Just completely ignore the Brave Area. Because I have confidence I'm going to get this crit close combat. I have confidence. You might say, Marcos, this is an idiotic play. Just get damage off right now. But I have confidence. It's not like I could have clicked it anyways. There we go. Now, the ideal outcome here would actually technically be losing my Porygon, too. Because I don't need Trick Room to win anymore. You know, playing against me is a lot like playing against a monkey. Sometimes you think I'm intelligent, and then other times I'm literally just clicking buttons that look pretty. Here's the Iron Head. Surprised they didn't close combat. In you go, sir. Welcome to the... Or maybe I should just get in Grimmsnarl. They haven't max airstreamed at all, right? Turn one, they max knuckled. Turn Yeah, they haven't at all. So it's in my best interest to uh, Thunder Wave this thing. Because I have one more turn left to Trick Room. And there's the Tabu Coco. Okay, alright, that's fine. That's cool, that's fine. That's fine. Um, ooh, I can't Thunder Wave the Tapu Coco, can I? Maybe it's in my best interest just to try to KO the Tapu Coco. And not quite Thunder Wave yet. I also can't spirit break it. We'll just spirit break the Coco. <laughs> Where's Dolman? Is it okay? Is it well? He's probably fine. I don't know. I don't know. Alright, uh, Tapu Coco is no more. Tapu Coco is no more. Charizard G-Max is literally a monkey because you can just mindly, mindlessly click G-Max Wildfire. That's kind of true, to be honest. That's kind of true. Alright. There's the Iron Head to eliminate my boy. Oh, not quite. Alright, check this out. It's time to win with Surfetched. It is officially time to win with Surfetched. I have been setting up this endgame for the past... 10 turns, something like that. I'm going to Swords Dance with the Groudon just to ensure that Surfetch gets the honor. And I'm going to Thunder Wave, and if I connect this Thunder Wave, it's all good. And we know it's not Lumberry Braviary because it has been going for Life Orb moves. Sir Thog. Thank you, we connected. Now there's only one more thing left to do, and that's Critic Close Combat. This thing steel spiked twice, so we definitely actually have to connect this. All right, c come on, come on, man! Don't don't do this to me yet. Thog Thog has not had his moment. Thog has not had his. Mo you know what? You guys are gonna think I'm crazy, but Thog deserves this. Thog deserves this moment. Thog deserves this moment. He's gonna come in, and I have a hundred percent certainty that I'm gonna get to get, go for a crit close combat and KO this thing. I am 100% certain. Now behold. Behold my close combat. I'm getting a little nervous here. <laughs> Get in there, bud. 50% chance to win. Alright, let's just examine here. That is a plus two defense, plus one attack Braviary. Currently paralyzed, meaning it's going to get outsped by the Surfetched. And I have a 50% chance to crit it. Behold. Oh no. Oh no. Please, please, please don't do this to me. Please don't do this. No! <laughs> we didn't crit. 
We didn't crit. Now I'm the idiot. Just kidding. I, I like I was I was fully ready to accept that outcome. I as soon as I began flexing, I was fully ready to accept that outcome. But he did take out the Braviary, technically. 